Welcome back, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today, we're going to learn how to use product documents to enhance the shopping experience for all of our customers. With Odoo Sales, you can upload customized informative documents and attach them to your products and decide how and when customers can see them. These documents can be eye-catching ways to inform curious customers about every detail related to a product to ensure they know exactly what they're getting into before making a purchase. Not only is this a great way to establish trust with your clients, but it's a visually stunning educative way to set yourself apart from your competitor. So enough chit chat, let's hop right into our database and see what this is all about. Alrighty, so let's kick things off on our sales dashboard. So from here, let's select new in the top left hand corner over here because we're gonna create a new quotation for a customer who happened to just express interest in our acoustic block screens. So we're going to add Anita Oliver to our customer. We're gonna make our way to the product lines over here. And what did I just say? We're adding our acoustic block screens but they're actually extra special. In fact, they're fairly unique enough that I wanna ensure that our customers are aware of all of the available options and specifications they can choose from. That's why we're going to add a PDF document to this product so that our customers can view an organized collection of every detail related to this specific item. So how do we do that? Well, we'll need to jump over to the product form by selecting our internal link arrow right here when we selected the words acoustic block screens. Now here, we're in the product form and we're gonna select documents in the top middle and now we're taken to the documents page for this specific product, where we're gonna find all of the necessary documents and anything that we've uploaded for it. And as you can see right now, I have not uploaded anything for it. So let's actually change that. So if somebody was to upload something, we're gonna select new for our example. We'll be taken to a blank product document form. Here we can configure a handful of fields in addition to uploading a custom PDF, detailing the desired specifications of our product. So we'd first have to choose a type. And remember, if you're ever confused by anything here, you can also hover these little question marks. Now we have the options to select a file or a URL. Now, if we selected a file, we'd upload a document. And if we select a URL, we enter the URL of a pre-existing product document. Whichever type is chosen, we'd also have the option to configure dynamic fields for, which we covered this in our PDF quote builder tutorial. So be sure to check that out to learn more because I'm not gonna check that out right now. So up next, we decide where this document would be visible to the customer, where we have this sales option. I'm gonna start with this. We could keep it hidden, or we could have it appear on quotes, on confirmed order, and inside quote PDF. And lastly, we have another option. We have this little checkbox down here. And this is for e-commerce, and it says publish on website. So ticking the box would provide customers with a clickable PDF link to the product document for them to view, directly from the online store, providing them with all of the information they need before they buy something. That way they can't blame you. But let's actually discard this using the X to return over to our documents page. Before us, what if I told you that there's an even quicker way to upload a document? Well, actually all we have to do is select the word upload over there. I've already created a specific document for our acoustic block screens in a separate PDF builder. So I'm ready to upload it. So as you just saw, we select it now. And look at that, Odoo instantly creates a Kanban card for the document, and I could choose its visibility and whether I'd like to publish it on the website or not, which we're gonna see and talk about in a moment. So for this sample, I'm gonna select inside quote PDF using the drop down right there. If you can't see it on my screen, you're gonna see it on yours when you do it. It happens to be OS specific. Then we're also gonna to toggle publish on website. So now let's jump back to the quotation we created in the beginning via the breadcrumb link. So we're gonna select new right there, and there we are. So from here, let's open up the quote builder tab. And we're gonna find our product specific documents waiting for us right here. So along with the header and the about us PDFs, let's also select our acoustic block screens one. We're gonna add that all to our quote. Then we're gonna simply select send by email. And while Odoo prepares this, I wanted to talk to you about today's sponsor. It's me, Jose Ignacio. All right, we're ready. So we just saw how everything was built. We just saw it in the PDF Quote Builders video before as well. A copy, that message, and also a PDF will appear in the chatter once that we select send. So check this out. Now give this a little second today. And look at that. Both copies are right there. And when we click on that PDF to preview it right there, you're going to see that header that we saw previously, followed by our newly added product form. And look at that. The acoustic block screens are right there. Ah, and isn't that cool? but let's get out of there. Okay, back on the quotation, we're gonna click back right now to go over to the order lines tab. 
And we're going to return to the product page for acoustic block screen via the internal link. Just I need to check one last thing. So remember how we chose to publish this document on the website via the toggle switch? Well, if we happen to select the green go to website option over here, we're going to see its product forms. And what do you see right there? I notice a link that allows me to download the product document right there. So when clicked, Odoo automatically downloads the PDF for our shoppers so that they can take their time to review every option in detail before they make a decision, helping them make the best and honestly the most informative shopping experience possible. That's not too shabby, right? And there you have it, Odooers. You just learned how to create, configure, upload, and utilize product documents with the Odoo Sales application. Sorry about that. Small Odoopsie. I just realized we're at the end. So remember, that's all for this video, but stay tuned for more sales-related awesomeness. See you soon, party people. And remember, go grab a snack. Bananas today. I'm healthier.